If you work for the Department of Transportation, chances are, at some point, you'll need a physical. They differ slightly from a normal physical because they are um, very in-depth at like history and um, kind of checking for certain um, health conditions that may um, influence driving. Generally speaking, this applies to anyone who drives a vehicle carrying more than 15 people, is paid to drive more than eight people at a time, carries hazardous material with a placard, or drives on the interstate with more than five tons at a time. There is paperwork usually involved with um, DOT physicals. If you're, um, if you've had DOT physicals before, you're familiar with the health history form um, that's on the beginning of the paperwork. If you haven't had a DOT physical form, those health history forms we do provide here in the office. You can fill it out when you come in for your appointment. People who have health conditions like diabetes or cardiac disease may be required to provide other paperwork and that can either come from this office or from their primary care doctor. If everything goes smoothly, patients will get a certificate at the end of the appointment. That is their kind of approval to uh, like that they're medically fit to drive. When someone comes in for a DOT physical, Virginia says it's important to know. It is not typically run through insurance because it's either covered by the employer or they have to pay for the visit. For most people, the certification is valid for two years. You do not need to be a patient to schedule a physical. To make an appointment at the Bath Family Medicine office, call 607-776-8700. For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.